So there was a recent release of a very small TTS or text-to-speech model uh, released by, I think it's, I'm not sure if it's Audi or Out AI. Uh, I'll refer to them as Audi. So I'm assuming that E is there for a reason. But uh, they produced a very small TTS model, uh, 350 million parameters, based off of the Llama 2 architecture. So kudos to Meta, first of all, for all of these releases are ba- like all these small LLMs, this uh, Audi TTS. All of it is based off of the Llama 2 architecture. So. Thank you, Meta, for Llama 2. Uh, and then thank you, Audi TTS, for putting this out. I primarily, like, I stay away from text-to-speech and diffusion. Uh, if you notice, like, a lot of my videos, I have very, very few videos on these two subjects. Uh, and the reasons are very simple, because these models are large, and they require a lot of resources, and they're ancillary to me as far as interests, right? My main interests lie primarily in natural language processing as opposed to audio generation or image generation, video, etc. But when you can produce a model and you get it down to 350 million parameters, it's good enough for me to play around with. One thing I do want to highlight, though, if you look, uh, look at their blog post, and you look at the training progression, right? This is the secondary reason. Like, so not only are these models large in and of themselves, they're they're generally speaking, you're talking about like eight billion to thirteen billion parameters for uh, like a diffusion model or uh, TTS models. I've seen generally smaller, like three to four billion parameters, but still, that's not something that you are generally wanting to run on um, consumer grade hardware and. From my experience with these things, uh, quantizing the models, uh, it leads to severe degradation. And as you'll see, this model, uh, it's small, right? So it's it, it still has room for improvement with its outputs already. So uh, quantizing it would make it even worse. But highlighting as well, the training progression within this, right? So they show uh, they have three checkpoints, 100 million tokens, 500 million tokens, and 1 billion tokens. These are, that's a lot of tokens, a lot of training tokens. Like, generally speaking, uh, like a million training tokens uh, for fine tuning an NLP model is good. Uh, and then, so their first checkpoint is a hundred million tokens. Uh, it's a lot. Right? And then a billion tokens is a, it's a lot. Like, um, it's just a lot. If you want to build one of these models from scratch, it's a big dedication. It's kind of the bottom line. So, Thank you to this team for doing the dedication and putting this model out. Uh, and then on their GitHub, they released the code, right? The code is very simple in order to run this and set it up. If you just want a simple installation, you pip install this package, and then they give you this simple user interface here, right? I played with this simple user interface. It works. This is what, like eight lines of code, 10 lines of code, (laughs) and then really simple. It'll get you up and running. And then they have voice cloning here, which is really simple as well, right? I haven't played around with the voice cloning, but so uh, I wanted something like a little bit more than this inner, this simple interface. And then, uh, so I made this (laughs) and I figure this can be for someone that uh, wants to get into these things. Maybe you are really into this TTS aspect of AI, uh, but you have been waiting for like a model small enough like this to be able to run. And then you don't know the code that you need. Like like you're now at a daunting place. Uh, I made this for you. (laughs) And then so uh, I have the code here in this CoLab notebook. And then so very straightforward, all you need to do is you need to open your command prompt. And then I would suggest running this in a virtual environment. So if you'll, you'll notice I, I have an environment that I call breakout uh, and then breakouts where I run all of my like um, reinforcement, my reinforcement learning algorithms. But then so I just loaded this into that same directory as well. But uh, and then so I just have the code loaded. The one thing is you do need to pip install that package. So you will want to uh, go to your command prompt and then pip install this, pip install outlets. So you would just, you know, here, command prompt, uh, pip install outlets. Uh, You could literally just copy and paste it. And then you want to take this code that I have here in this collab, and then you're gonna wanna create a note, uh, like a notepad, right? Uh, And then I have it just called TTS underscore app, 
and then you'll go to File, Save As, save it as a .py, uh, or all files here, and then name it .py, and you're good to go. And from here, you'll just run the code, uh, and then it'll bring up here, right? Uh, and then so very straightforward, you'll have to load the model. This will already be loaded here, so you'll hit load model first. It'll take about a minute to load it. And then this will be blank. You type in whatever text that you want. You hit generate the first time, and then hit play. Hello, this is a test. Testing of the text speech while temporary. And so it'll select a random voice and it will uh, generate the outputs, right? Um, hi, YouTube. How is it going today? Uh, and then so I hit generate here, it's going to generate. It's going to take a little bit to generate the speech, right? Uh, and then so we see here uh, in the command prompt, the code running in the background. Uh, this is just, again, just giving you the, the really simple user interface. From what uh, I understand from that blog article that I kind of breeze through in this video, this model is very sensitive to temperature and repetition penalty adjustments. So. If you're unhappy with the model outputs, you could adjust uh, these two things and these successfully. And then so this is not that long a speech, right? And it took about like a minute or so uh, to generate this. So it takes a while, right? Hi, hi, how is it, Brian? To get it's not the best. Hi, hi, how is it, Brian? To get want to tackle YouTube, right? Uh, but so that's what like uh, this gets you with a billion tokens and 350 million parameters. So this model is, uh, I, I wouldn't utilize it for production. I don't know. Like, again, like me, I'm not an expert on these models. So playing around with this temperature, this repetition penalty, maybe you do some adjustments to this model to, to soup it up. Uh, this model, as it is, running it, it's cool novelty. It's a cool for me for the first time being able to showcase and, and willing to showcase these things because it's not a lot of work for me to run this model, being only 350 million parameters. So we are getting there. Uh, this model needs more work, though, with regards towards the quality, right? This kind of hi, hi, hi. How is it, Brian? To get it's every single output that I've I've generated of it. It's kind of garbage, but maybe you can make it better. Maybe you know how to adjust these uh, these uh, on your own, and you want to just go ahead and link to the collab. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.